look at this medical part, it looks really simple, right? But what about all the little pockets in there? How many setups would that part take you? Well, on this Willem & Macadel, it takes one setup. Keep watching to find out how. They say good things come in small packages, and here at the Willem & Macadel factory in Switzerland, that's certainly true. So, Pascal, we're here in front of an MTS machine. Now, you told me this is the evolution of the 408 MT. Now, what yeah. makes it an evolution? Exactly. So the MTS, it's an only an evolution. That means all the uh, the main spindle, the B axis, the three axis, the A axis are exactly the same. Everything on that side it. of the machine. Everything for the first operation is exactly the same. Uh, already delivered are more than 500 machines. Now the evolution is more on the back working units. That's we have a, a second operation that is uh, possible to make this in the same time than the first operation. That means we will make the simultaneous machining so we will reduce the cycle time. It's almost like if you look at it, so you've got a vice here, a spindle, and what's behind this little cover here? Yeah, so we have the tool magazine, eight position here in this area. Uh, the vice, we have three position, one to recover the parts on the AXs, the second at 90 degrees to make a second operation with the main milling spindle, and the third position, the new position, 180 degrees to make the simultaneous machining operation. So it's almost like you've got an extra little machine tool just down here in this little corner of this already very compact machine. Yeah, exactly. So on the same dimension that the 408 MT standard configuration, we have integrated three additional axes in order to make the simultaneous machining. And I can't believe you've also managed to fit a tool changer in here, which we'll, hopefully we'll see a tool, training, tool changing at some point. And there's a little spindle here. And what's the max RPM of this spindle? Uh, this spindle maximum RPM is 50,000 RPM. Which is absolutely crazy. Yeah, with a uh, fixture HSK E25 and with the tool magazine 8 position. So we've got an E40 on e the main, and then E25 here. Exactly, yeah. So th these are all tiny tools, so they're well balanced, they're easy to spin up to 50,000 RPM, so you can do really, really fine micro-machining operations. Yeah, exactly. So the second, uh, the second uh, side machining is made to make three axis machining. Uh, so with this very accurate and very high frequency spindle, 50,000 RPM, uh, and the part is clamped in the vise. Brilliant, so the 850,000 RPM helps you with fast light cuts, even in titaniums, in hardened steels, in difficult to cut materials, yeah. you can deal with them, no exactly, problem. Exactly, exactly. Okay, let's talk about this part here now. So this is, what's this? So this is a jaw for a medical instrument. Okay, so when you've got a part like this, well the head comes in and you machine uh, all of these crazy features. So you've got five axis stuff, you've got standard profile milling, drilling, this kind of engraving here. You've got loads of kind of nice, uh, beautiful curves and rads and tangents and uh, tapered pockets. Yeah. But then, what do you do? You have to grab it uh, here with the with the vise. Then what do you have to do after that? There's a crazy operation on the other side. So yeah. if you show us the other part. So this is the finished part. So you have all the first operation and the the simultaneous machining is made all the inside area. Which there's there's loads of features in here. There's a couple of drills, different sizes. There's some uh, deep uh, deep milling operations for what I assume is a small end mill. There's some profiling here. There's, there's loads of operations and chamfering as well. Yeah, exactly. So we make this operation when the next part is already be in a machining cycle on the, the main uh, operation. So you could imagine trying to machine this on a different machine or maybe on the same one in Macadell using that quite expensive, I guess, up there spindle when you could be doing it on a, the little 50, 50K RPM here. What's the cycle time saving on a part like this? So here we have a reduction of the total cycle time of 40 40%. 40%, which I guess if you're trying to do, I don't know, 200 of these every hour or 300 every hour, that's a huge amount of time that you're making either more parts or saving time to make uh, different parts. Yeah, exactly. So we make this on the same base, we can reduce the cycle time of 40% on this application. So if you find a good application, you, this uh, alternative, this extension could be very helpful and uh, for your production. Brilliant. So, automation that's as easy as on a lathe, but you've got fantastic mill and spindles you can do complex five axis operations with. Check out Willem and Macadel in the UK and Ireland from Premier Machine Tools.